Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ali, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Ali. I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, you guys, I have my Ipsy unboxing. I actually got it sometime last week. I think I got it on like the 12th or the 13th. And I was trying to wait until my add-ons came in, but they're not coming in until the 21st. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get this filmed and get it up. So yeah, we are going to go ahead and start. So the first thing I got, and all the prices will be on the screen, you guys. So all the prices will be on the screen, you guys. So the first thing I got was another complex culture brush. This, this time I got the powder brush and I haven't used it before, hence why it's dirty. I used it for blush and I actually really liked it for this, you guys. These complex culture brushes are so flipping soft and not to mention that the handle is just super cute. Let me grab my other one so you guys can see. Yeah, so these are all of their brushes that they have. They have this concealer brush. I think it has a name on it. No, it don't their concealer brush, their bronzer, bronzer brush, and now I have their powder brush. And all of their brushes have the same quality. Now, obviously the concealer one's a little bit more dense, but other than that, they're all super soft. And I have to say, I don't have any complaints about any of these, you guys. Like I'm super pleased with these brushes. The next thing I got were these Ar Araceli Ojos Perfectos Gel Pencil Eyeliner Duo with a sharpener. Okay, so I didn't read the with the sharpener part whenever I first opened this. So I opened it and I was like, oh, okay, two pencils. Wait a second, like why does the box feel heavy? So I was pulling all kinds of stuff out of there and I could see something down at the bottom. But you guys, this freaking, it comes with a sharpener. I cannot tell you guys how bad I actually needed a sharpener for like actual eye pencils. I've been using like a school sharpener and y'all just don't do what I do because I've been doing some ignorant things and it'll be making my freaking eyeliner stuff and like my lip liner is way too sharp or like it'll make the wood way too sharp and I'm like, it's just dangerous. But anyways, I got the shade um, Chocolate. It's chocolate or chocolate, I'm being extra. And then the shade Cinnamon. So, ooh, Cinnamon already broke. That is just what they look like. The darker one is chocolate and the other one is Cinnamon. These are super cute. Can't wait to play with these. And then like I said, this, I think that's a good deal. Two eyeliners and a pencil sharpener. Like what? What? Can't beat that y'all, can't beat that. Let me see what else I got. Ah. So this one was chosen for me. I chose the brush and I chose the eyeliners. And then this is one of the products that was chosen for me. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder. I've used this, I've tested it out and I have to say you guys, I think that this is a little bit too dry for me. I also did try out a new or a different I'll have to try this with a different foundation. One that maybe is way too, is way too oily on me, but as for the found, I tried it with the Profusion found Profusion foundation and that one can lean more dry already by itself. So I'm thinking maybe that combo just didn't vibe together. But yeah, I did already try this and so far what I think of it is that it's just a smidge too dry for me. I don't even know if I showed you guys what it looks like. This is just what the shape tape powder looks like. And then it has like the little poof in there. And then it has like the net. The net is hard to get powder out with a sponge. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'll keep trying it, y'all. The next thing I got was a highlighter. And this is from Lovecraft Beauty Highlighter Palette. And it just comes with two like this. It comes with the more golden one. And then like a more pink, pink toned one. So this one's called Aurora. And then this one is called Bore Borelius. Borelius. I don't know, it's spelled B-O-R-E-A-L-I-S. And yeah, I have played with these. I mean, they're highlighters. There's nothing special to them, but these ones are glittery. So if you don't like a glittery highlighter, 
I really don't think you'll like these. Also, I've only used them once, so they are definitely something that I will have to keep playing with. But I really did love their blush palette, but I just gave it away. So yeah, I'll keep trying out this out. Might get given away too, who knows? But yeah, I did get rid of this for now. I mean, I did pick, what? I'm keeping it for now. Okay, and then the last thing I did pick out, and it was actually these Misho Beauty Nail Lacquer. Now, I've been wanting more nail polishes, and I told myself, like, the next time they have nail polishes as a choice, like, you're going to pick them, and you're going to get them. So, I sure did pick me out a couple of nail polishes. It's like this pretty, really pretty milky pink color, and it's just called Unbothered. And then, of course, just their top coat. So, that is what I got right here. I think that the packaging and everything... Woo! I think that the packaging and everything to these is, like, super duper cute, just... Ah, oh, that's so pretty. Like, these are so pretty. Okay, and then the card in here is, the card is called Let's Get Social, or it's called Your Magic with a pinch of shimmer and a wave of your mascara wand this month. Cast a spell on yourself. Nope. Whether it's nailing the perfect smoky eye or taking that big life leap, let your intuition guide you to your goals. Guide you to your goals. First of all, I don't play with magic. I don't do magic. Magic is very real. There are all different types of form, forms of magic, which all lead to destruction and wickedness. So I don't do the whole magic thing. So yeah, needless to say, I won't be keeping this bag and not a big fan of anything magic. So it says your full moon beauty guide. Nope, we're not playing with the moon either. It's just a whole wicked bag, y'all. But anyways, nonetheless, I do love Ipsy and I do love my bag like the contents of the bag very much this month not to, i mean obviously you kind of have to like your bag now that you can pick three of your five items but i mean you could always just pick to be surprised every month so so yeah it kind of just depends on you like i said i was really happy with my bag i think after i made my choices it told me that my bag was around 250 to 280 dollars worth total value the total value will be up on the screen right now but yeah you guys i mean if you guys want me to go back to doing like the demo or the try on, like let me know. But I know that a lot more people just like to see like the unbagging or unboxing itself. And it's a shorter video to watch just to see what people are getting. So yeah, I mean, if y'all, I don't know, tell me which kind of Ipsy unboxings that you like. Like, do you like the try on style or like the demo, like where I try it on and I'm talking about the product but you see me applying it you don't see me applying it in real time or if you like the way that I'm doing it now like just let me know you guys so yeah if you guys have any more video suggestions please go ahead and leave that in the comment box below I love you guys but always remember that Jesus loves you more if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video bye